stick the cue ball. Play a nine. Hello guys, welcome back to another Tiger Q-Tip of the Month. Uh, I've had a couple of months away, I've been obviously really busy with tournaments, but now I'm back. And today I'm going to demonstrate the power punch draw shot. So it's a very tricky shot and something you've got to really practice and you've got to get it down. Uh, so I've set up a situation here. So the situation I've set up here is that the natural angle is for the white ball to the eight ball, hitting it the eight ball full. I'm hitting just just fractionally to the right of the point, and the white ball would naturally come here to kiss the nine or even here. If if I just play like a normal draw shot, hitting low on the white ball. Uh, usually, you you see a lot of amateurs trying whenever they're trying to draw the ball, especially uh, the low level uh, players. Let's say is that they try and hit the ball too hard and they don't hit low enough on the white ball, which is a big no-no. You lose your time and you end up jumping up, missing the ball, and you just don't get the timing and the reaction of the white ball. It just sort of comes around here. So this is one instance where you do want to sort of do that, but at the same time, you've got to know how to execute it uh, and delay that draw and like just forcing the white ball out a little bit wider. So a normal draw shot, you've been you'd be hitting very low on the white ball. So, so in this instance, we're going to be hitting, you're going to ele elevate your cue a little bit, and you're going to be aiming down in, in uh, to the white ball. So I'll be aiming just to it, just below center of the white ball, with uh, a good tip of right hand English, just to try and get the white ball to force it over and come down here for shape on the, on the nine. Uh, so what will happen is that the white's going to delay after it makes contact with the eight ball and then so it's probably going to stop or maybe just go forward fractionally and then it's going to start drawing so it's something you got to really practice you've got to have total trust in your tip in my case a sniper and also your stroke so let's give it a go right guys so let's give it a go so with this shot, it's, just, it's very important to elevate your cue a little bit. Instead of having it flat, you're just going to elevate down on uh, to the white ball. So I, I'm aiming just fractionally below centre of the, uh, the white ball with a good tip of right English. And you've really got to go through the cue ball. So it's going to delay and then uh, just that right English is going to force the white ball over and hopefully come down in a straightish line. like that so I didn't try and hit the ball too hard uh, but at the same time you've got to really let your stroke out but don't try and like smash it as hard as you can you don't need to do that uh, and if you do that you'll get those results and if you use the right tip which is in my case in my opinion the best tip on the market the sniper from Tiger products uh, go and check them out purchase your tip uh, all I've made and uh, yeah, you've got to have total trust in your tip and I have total trust in mine. So uh, I hope that helps you and we will see you next time.